Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to discuss about parallelogram method for the ellipse. These are the different methods for the ellipse. In the previous video we have discussed about concentric circle method, rectangle method. Now it's turn for the parallelogram method. That is also known as the ellipse in parallelogram. Because of ellipse that is drawn inside of the parallelogram. So let's see first of all the description draw an engineering curve by oblong method. So this method is sometimes known as the oblong method because of the step of the rectangle method or oblong method is almost similar in the parallelogram method. So sometimes it is known as the oblong method also with the angle of 78 degree take sides of the parallelogram as 100 mm and 72 mm. It can be asked in the different way also. Draw an ellipse. If the conjugate axis are 100 mm and 72 mm with included angle of 78 degree. So the same problem can be asked in the different way. So now try to understand the description. First of all, take the scale and draw the horizontal line that is given to you as 100 mm. That is your one of the side of the parallelogram that is actually mentioned over here. Here you can see exactly 100 mm. Now next angle is given to you for the parallelogram that is 78 degree. So with the help of the protector you can take the angle as 78 degree with reference to this line. 70 then 80 so here it is 78 now draw the line so this is the another side of the parallelogram and that is given to you as 72 mm mark exactly at 72 mm so these are the two sides of the parallelogram now you can complete the parallelogram with the help of the roller scale so set the roller scale over here and draw the parallel line to this. Similarly set the roller scale over here and draw the parallel line to this one. So you can complete the parallelogram. If you look at this description, then I have taken the two conjugate axis as 100 mm and 72 mm with included angle 78 degree. Now take the midpoint of this line. Similarly over here and give the name as A and B, draw the horizontal line, next mark the midpoint of this AB line and give the name as O, with the help of the scale you can do it. Now draw the line which is parallel to this line passing through this O point. Now give the name as CD, so now up to here it is very simple. Now divide this line into the four equal parts. You can divide it 5 or 6 equal part also. Similarly, here 4 equal division. Now divide this distance into the 4 equal parts. Because of you have divided it into the 4 equal parts, so it must be the 4 equal parts. Now your numbering should be in the ascending order from the A to the right side. Similarly, your numbering is in the ascending order from the A point in the upward direction. Similarly, you can follow this numbering pattern with respect to B point. Now join D1, D2 and D3. Next, join C1 and extend it up to D1. So you can mark over here this point. Similarly, join C2 and extend it up to D2. So you will get the intersection point over here. Mark it. Next, join C3 and extend up to D3. So you will get the intersection point. Similarly, on this side of this CD. So you will get the different point. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. Take care over here. It must be passed from the A, D and B. 
So this is actually the half portion of the ellipse. Similarly, you can complete the lower portion of the ellipse, but it will take much more time. So you can follow the shortcut method in the examination also so that you can save the time. It is very simple. Look at over here. Draw the line which is parallel to this line passing through all these intersection point. Initially, take the length of this line randomly. Now, take the compass. Set the radius equal to this one. Take center is this point. Draw the R. So you will get the corresponding point. Similarly, you can follow over here. Set the radius up to here. Take this is as a center. Draw the R. So you will get the corresponding point. Similarly, you will get all these corresponding point with the help of the compass. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. So this is your ellipse. So we have completed ellipse in the parallelogram. So now at the end you have to give the name of the curve that is ellipse. Here keep in mind that the name of the method is mentioned so that you have to follow this one. This is known as a parallelogram method also because of the ellipse that is in parallelogram. So it is almost similar to the rectangle method only the difference is in case of the rectangle method the angle is 90 degree between the two conjugate axes whereas in case of the parallelogram method the angle is less than 90 degree. At last a very simple question can you draw normal and tangent in this drawing? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.